Today we're taking a look at the Hike Micro Explorer E20 Plus, a pocket thermal camera that you can take with you anywhere you go and is perfect for home improvement, outdoor adventures, pet owners and more. Now full disclosure before we get started, the video is sponsored by Hike Micro and they've sent me the E20 Plus Explorer to showcase to you guys. So what exactly is the Explorer E20 Plus? It's a pocket thermal camera that you connect to your phone for thermal vision and it gives you the ability to see things that can't be seen with the human eye, as well as measuring heat. Now the camera itself is tiny, which means it's easy to carry around. And my favorite thing about it is that it doesn't have any batteries and it instead gets powered by your phone. Now when it comes to the unboxing, it's nice and simple. We first get the manuals and documentation. Next, we've got the carry case, which has the Explorer E20 Plus inside it. And then finally, we've got a USB-C extension cable if you don't want it plugged directly into your phone. Now, if I hold it out in my hand, you can see just how tiny this thermal camera is. And it's also very light coming in at just under 26 grams. The USB-C port comes directly out of the casing and this means it sits very nicely when connecting to your phone. It comes with a lens protector to prevent any scratches when carrying it around. Then we've also got a manual focus ring to fine tune the image quality. Now to get started using the Explorer E20 Plus, it's nice and straightforward. You just download the Hike Micro site app, plug in the camera and you're good to go. The app is easy to use and it comes with lots of different features to use with a the thermal camera. And when using the camera, we get a wide 18.1 degree field of view, along with a detection range of up to 970 meters with a clear image. When it comes to use cases, it's designed for things like outdoor adventures so you can see exactly what's coming up ahead of you, including animals or people. You could use it for home improvement or DIY if you want to check for heat or anything else overheating. It can be used for security and surveillance as it's going to allow you to see people, whether it be day or night. And then it's also useful for pet owners. For instance, if your dogs ran off in the woods or if a small dog is hidden in the grass, you can easily spot them with the heat they're giving off. And of course, it's also useful for any hobbyists, enthusiasts, or just anyone who loves cool gadgets. Now, if we open up the app, you can see we've got all of the features and settings at the top, along with the image customizations at the bottom. We've got the calibration option at the top left, and all you have to do is tap this and it's gonna automatically calibrate the camera. We can press the mirror option if you've got the camera mounted differently and need the image to be mirrored. We've got the hotspot tracking and this is going to track the hottest part of the viewfinder. And then we've also got visible light. And what this does is use the smartphone's camera to give a picture in picture of the thermal view as well as the colored camera view from your phone. And then in the top right, we've got orientation. And this is going to give you your bearings at the bottom so you know exactly where you're facing. Now on the bottom, we've got a brightness adjustment to lighten or darken the image. We've got a contrast option to change the contrast. We've got a zoom function to switch between one times and two times zoom. And then over on the far right, we've got the palette selection. In the palette selection, we've got six options to choose from, which include bird watching to give a nice black and white view to easily spot birds. We've got the red hot, which is gonna keep the black and white view, but add highlights of the hotspots in red. We've then got the white hot, which is pretty much the same as the previous one, but the hotspots are now white instead of red. We've then got black hot to make the temperature hotspots black. And then we've got rainbow to show the heat levels in blue, green, and red. And then finally, we've got the iron bow setting, and this uses red and orange to display the heat maps. Now, of course, when using the application, you can take photos or videos using the buttons at the bottom. And rather than having to search through your camera roll to find these images or videos, We've actually got a media section in the app and it's gonna showcase all of the media that you've taken. Now I've been using the Explorer for the past week now and I have to say it's a nice way to carry around a thermal camera for those of you that need one. It's much smaller than other thermal cameras and I've always got my mobile phone on me anyway, so it makes it a versatile solution. Now it's ultra low power consumption draws less than 0.35 watts, so it doesn't have a detrimental effect on your phone's battery life when you're using it and it measures any temperature above absolute zero. Now, absolute zero is the lowest temperature that's theoretically possible, and it's the equivalent to minus 273 degrees Celsius. It uses a 256 by 192 12 micrometer thermal detector, and this gives a nice image overall. 
Now, no heat can hide it from the Hike Micro Thermal Camera, and you can see here, out on the dog walk, it gives me an excellent view of where my dog is that I can't see with the human eye. Now, if I do a picture-in-picture -picture with the phone camera, you can see it's completely pitch black here, but thanks to the thermal imaging, I can still see him. My dog tends to stay pretty close to me and doesn't go too far when walking, but for those that have a dog that likes to run around and go far away, I can see this being very useful for both day and night. Now, if I point it down the street, you can see just how good it is at picking up heat from a distance, so this makes it great for all long-range activities, especially when using outdoors. Now, the orientation option also gives the bearing at the bottom of the view, and this could be useful if you're out hiking and using this for visibility as well as direction. Now, the Hike Micro Explorer doesn't have a microphone built into the camera, but it does, however, provide sound using your smartphone's camera, which is great for those who need sound. Now, as well as the camera, we've also got the Academy in the Sight app, and this contains lots of videos with useful information on all of their products where you can filter to the one that you want. Now, the carry case that comes with the Hike Micro Explorer is also nice and compact. It's a tiny bit larger than the camera itself, and it keeps it well protected while still being easy to carry around. It zips shut to keep it nice and secure. We've also got a clip so you can attach it to any bag or belt when you're using it outdoors. Being such a tiny camera, you may have thought that you'd have to pay more for it, but thankfully this isn't the case and they've got a Christmas offer where you can get this for just £296 or $296 and this is lower than many other thermal cameras on the market. So if you know anyone that would like the Hike Micro Explorer for Christmas, then now would be a good time to get it. And of course, I've placed the links down in the description below so you can go ahead and check it out now. And for those that want a chance to win one, Hike Micro are currently running a giveaway campaign and all you have to do is follow their Instagram account. So I've placed a link for that down in the description below as well. So hopefully I've covered everything in today's video, but if there is anything I've missed or you've got any questions at all, then just leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, smash a thumbs up. If you didn't hit the thumbs down twice and I'll see you guys in the next one.